In today's session of Divorce Court, when Melissa married Garrett, she thought she'd found the man of her dreams, but she says Garrett lied about his secret life. The marriage turned rocky, but when Melissa got pregnant, Garrett thought it could be a new beginning for their family. Now, Melissa says Garrett's not the father, but he says she's lying. I believed she was mine. Did you tell him that you believed he was the father? I told him that it was my first husband. You are a liar. You're a liar. They've come to court to find out if Garrett is the father. What if the test shows he is the father? No, it won't, because I know whose it is. Why didn't you tell me that in the very beginning? The DNA test results will reveal the truth. The probability of paternity <laughs> as Melissa and Garrett face off in today's session of Divorce Court. All rise. Court is now in session. Maybelline Ephraim presiding. You may be seated. Good day, ladies and gentlemen. This is the matter of Melissa Files and Garrett Files. I understand after four short years of marriage, Ms. Files, that you filed for divorce and you're ready to end this relationship. Why? Because he's gay. Because he, he's gay? He's bisexual, and I have want nothing else to do with that. When did you find out that he was gay? I actually found out on Halloween when he dressed up you're and drag. I have you're never. Full She's full of what? She's full of it. She has known since day one of her meeting me. I have me. not. Since she, she since I, I have turned not. 17 years old, You're she a liar. Knew. Her She's mother. She's known that you were gay. Bisexual. Bisexual. I was bisexual at one time. When I married her, I took my vows seriously. And that was yeah. point blank. Sure. When you married her, you took your vows seriously? Yes, I quit doing everything. And you changed your everything. lifestyle? Yes, I did. I never cheated on her. I never was with another man. Nothing. It was strictly me and her. That was it. Okay, what happened on Halloween that brought this out? He dressed up in drag, snagged the keys out of my hand, and said he was leaving to go in drag to perform. And I said, okay, that's it. When you say dressed <laughs> up in drag, Miss, Miss Files, what yes, do you say? Yes, he was say? wearing that dress right there. What my dress? dress? She's jealous because I look better in it than she did. Oh, yeah, all right. <laughs> I looked a lot better. On Halloween, he wore your dress? And how did that make you feel? Oh, it... It was horrible, I mean, because the man that I've loved all these years that I've cared so much about. If she loved me so much, why did she kick me out all the time? Every two to three weeks. Because you couldn't Every keep a job. Time. How are you supposed to support kids if you can't keep a job? Tell you, me that. You have children? Yes, I have two of my children, yes, ma'am. Two of your children? Yes, they're mine. Now, the I youngest understand supposedly that. supposedly is mine. I She's understand not. that the youngest child is presumed to be his. Isn't that true? She has my name. I was, she has I was name. told that she was mine. When was that child born? She was born March 21st of 97. Now, I understand you took a paternity test to determine yes, whether this child belongs to Mr. Files or not? Yes, we did. Now, what makes you believe that you're the father? Her adopted mother had came up to my work and told me that she was pregnant. I asked her, whose kid is it? Because we were se separated for seven months. She said for seven months uh, she was pregnant with my kid. So you were separated for seven months before you found out that she was pregnant? Yes. And do you have any reason to believe that is not your child? Yes. What is that? I have caught her several times. I even picked her up from her ex-husband's house where they both were wearing their underwear. And I'm oh, sorry. Oh, that's a lie. When you are married, you do not lie. go to your ex-husband's house and be dressed in your underwear, saying that I you're don't think letting so. your ex-husband visit his kid. You don't do that. Ms. Files, did he ever see you at your ex-husband's house? Yes, but I was letting him visit my daughter, Elizabeth. I didn't and have my underwear dressed? on. I had my clothes on, my jeans and my T-shirt. <laughs> so no, you weren't didn't. undressed? No, she I had was underwear not. and an overshirt on, and he was running around I in his boxers. I do not think so. You're a liar. the oldest girl. You're a liar. You're a damn... You're a liar. You're a liar. I'm glad you caught you yourself. You are a liar. No, you're the liar. You are... Well, okay, we've established Don't one even... thing. Both of you call each other liars. Have you been raising the child as your, as, yes. as your child? I was... I raised her as my own. I gave her my name. I was there when she was born. I was in the delivery room with her. I was also there when she had open heart surgery at two months old. The child had open heart surgery yes, at two months two old? Yes, she had two holes in her heart and a fetal blood vessel. So now she had open heart surgery, born with a bad heart. Yes. Now you guys are about to destroy her heart again? 
I love Doesn't my... that feel pretty bad? Doesn't it make you feel pretty bad about that? I love my girls. But you're about to break her heart again. I can't live through the hell no more, Your Honor. I can't. Ms. Files, what about that? The child had open heart surgery. She don't need to be around that environment. Suppose, suppose the DNA paternity tests say that he's not the father biologically. Has he been raised, has she been raised with believing he's the father? Yes, she has, And Your has Honor. he in every respect shown her the love of a father? Yes, yes he has. So what would you say about it if the DNA test says that he's not the father? That'd be great, because I don't want anything else to ever do with him again. Can you separate your anger and step out of yourself and think about your child for a moment? Can you do that? Yes, Your Honor. What's your, what's your daughter's name? Rebecca. How do you think Rebecca would feel if you just snatched Mr. Files away from her all of a sudden? She don't even hardly know him anymore. Why? Because every time we show her a video, oh, she knows him from time to time when we show her videos, we're watching videos. <laughs> Take a moment. Would you like a glass of water? No, I'm all right. What about you, Mr. Files? How would you feel if you were to lose contact with your daughter? Or who you believe to be your daughter? I'll always love her. She's been a big part of my life since she was born. <laughs> and what if the DNA paternity test says that you're not the biological father? Would you still want to be in her life? Yes, I would. Regardless of the fact that you would feel betrayed by her obvious it, affair not, with someone else if she's not, not the, the baby's father. fault. It's not the baby's fault for what we have done. And you can but separate. But I do love my daughter. I love both of my daughters. So you have I have raised Elizabeth as my own since she was five months old. Her oh. first words were daddy and she was looking right at me. So now you have a second child that's about to be hurt in this relationship. You really want to do that to Elizabeth too? He's not good for us. He's not good for <laughs> us or he's not good for you? He's not good for us, me and my children. And we're... why do you say he's not good for your daughters? Because the lifestyle he's in, I don't want him around my kids whatsoever. Mr. Files, have you openly displayed or lived a gay lifestyle in the last five years? Yes, I have. So has Elizabeth seen you in yes, that lifestyle? Yes. She's seen yes, me she as Hall at Halloween for the first time, and that's the only and time. Several she's and that's the that only time seen she's me. seen you yes. dressed as a woman? Yes. Or in any way acting as a woman? Was yes. Halloween? Yes. So for that's all intents true. and purposes, do you believe that Elizabeth thought that he was wearing a costume? She might have thought that, but she's seen his nails before. He always gets to get, get his nails done. As he has them done today? Yes. Very polished, I might add. But they call you daddy. Exactly. And they have a certain image of daddy. Yes. And their image of daddy is not dressed in that dress, except for on Halloween. Exactly. Could you leave that image intact for them? Yes. At least when you're in their presence? Yes. Would that be too much to ask? No. You're willing to do that? Yes. If, for the sake of the children? Yes. No, you're not. So what about that, Mrs. Files? He wouldn't give that up, no. He wouldn't give that up to, to see his kids, no. So I don't the... have to give it up as long as I don't do it in front of my girls. So did my this girls. marriage go wrong in, on Halloween, or did it go wrong it's long before wrong this? It's been going wrong for the last few this years because we can't get along for nothing. This relationship's been going on for eight years. And it's eight been years? Going... I thought it was five years. No, we've been together on and off for eight years. She married my best friend. Uh she married your best friend? Yes. He wasn't your best friend. He was just. Let me take a glass of water on that one and <laughs> <laughs> let me keep so I can keep from choking. <clears throat> <laughs> when divorce court returns, the judge gets the results of Garrett's paternity test. Are you getting divorced? Do you need Judge Maybelline Ephraim's help settling a dispute? If you want to be a guest on Divorce Court, call 1-877-311-2222 or email us at www.divorcecourttv.com. Divorce Court is back in the case of Files versus Files as Melissa testifies about marrying Garrett's best friend. What does he mean you married his best friend? Is he kidding? I stopped seeing him. We broke I, up wait, wait, wait. five months and one Let's day, start, and me, she went right okay, to him the very next day. Let me I did not. something. Did, were you married to his best friend? After almost a year, yes. After a year of what? Of us dating. 
the best friend. Yes. You were married to the best friend before you married Mr. Ga Mr. Yes. Kyle? Yes. Yes, Your Honor. And then how long were you married to him? I was married to him for a year. You married one man. Now you've married a second man in less than four years. You think that lifestyle is great for Elizabeth? No, and that won't happen again. You learn from your mistakes, and I've learned. But you want to take well. away his parenthood because of his mistakes. He's not their parent. So, but he was a parent before. Yeah, you tried. And now, when you find out that he's gay, he no, he's no longer a parent. Yeah, because I don't want that around us. All right, what if the test shows he is the father? Well, it won't, because I know whose it is. Because now you know. It won't. He, it won't. Are you saying? Why didn't him? you tell me that I, when you, she was born? Are you saying no, then that you lied to why him? Why didn't you tell me that in the very beginning? You knew. I believed she was mine. Because we you were knew. separated for seven months. She was seven months pregnant when I got with her. Plus, she told you me. You told me that she called you and told you that she was pregnant by you. Right, but her family had told me at work. Ms. Files, did you tell Mr. Files that you were pregnant? Yeah. Did no. you tell him that you believed he was the father? No, I did not. Yes, you never did. told him that? No. Yes, did you did. ever tell him that you believed he wasn't the father? I told, yeah, I told him that it no, was. she did not. What'd you tell him? I told him that it was my first husband. She when did you tell did him that? She did not. <laughs> yes, I did. I was when pregnant. When did you tell him that? At the end of the marriage, now that you're about to end the marriage no, and you're I angry? I told him when we were together. Before so he said words, no matter what, he and was And still, you cheated on me while we were married. You have pictures of the child? Yes. And you, you want to keep the pictures? Yes. And she has the dress? No, I have the dress. Oh, you have the dress? Yes, I have some pictures of my girls. How did you get this dress? I kept it. He took kept it along it when? with everything else? I kept it in my possession because since I... Since Halloween? Since I left. I'm the one that had left her this last time. Okay, so how did You're... you get the dress? Tell me. I packed it in my stuff and took it with me. So when I you paid for it. Oh, that's why you took it, because you paid for it. Plus, she would not give me my photos. Photos of photos the child. Of, what? of Rebecca when she was in the hospital when she was first born. Joe, I'm supposed to have the paternity test results. I was promised, it was promised that they would be in by the conclusion of this hearing. Please go into my chambers and see if you have that envelope there, please. Yes, ma'am. What if he is the father? Did you answer that, Mrs. Files? I would let him see Rebecca, but you, you he's would not let his him kid. see Rebecca. Yes, I would. How often would you let him see Rebecca? Uh huh. I don't know. Whatever the court's ordered, it wouldn't be very often. Well, the test results say that the probability of paternity. For Garrett files for this child is 99.97 percent. Oh, so. He could not be excluded as the biological father of Rebecca I files. You want to so. read it for yourself? Show it to her, Mr. Files. I don't. Give him a Kleenex. So you think the test results are lying? Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> this... mm -mm. So the results are wrong. You don't want them to be correct. No, because it just proves that she cheated. You're right. I just don't believe it. You don't believe it? No. Why don't you believe it? This is your husband. You didn't have sex with him? Well, yes. I'm ready to make my ruling. I'll take a break. When divorce court resumes, the judge renders her verdict, and Melissa and Garrett react to the judge's difficult decision. And an update on the case of Elizabeth Scott versus Charles Scott. How much money did you invest in phone about sex, cyber years. sex, etc.? I said close to four thousand dollars. Four thousand dollars in phone bills for sex. Divorce Court will be back in session in a moment. Divorce Court is back and the verdict is in, in the case of Melissa Files versus Garrett Files. Uh, back in the matter of Files, 
Mrs. Files, you indicated to me that you have two photo albums there and that they are exact. Uh, I need to see those photo albums, please. Joe. <clears throat> This case has been a very sad situation. I understand how you were betrayed and deceived at marriage. And Mr. Files, that was not so nice of you to deceive her and to pretend that you were going to be a husband and that you were going to be a man, knowing that that was not where you were. I'm not asking beginning. you to talk. I'm not asking you to talk. Close your mouth. This is only my turn to talk. I listen to you, I'm, you listen to me now. I will appreciate it when two adults start to learn that when you enter into a relationship and bring children into it, that is more than just you. Thankfully, the test results are such that Mr. Files is the father. Because, Ms. Files, you're so angry over the situation, you would destroy that child's love. When you look at these photo, this photo album and these baby pictures of the birth and from the beginning, it was full of love, full of compassion, full of caring. The grandparents are there. Everybody is there at the hospital. It's a normal birth, normal childhood. You think Rebecca knows the difference? All she wants is to be loved. It's all she wants. That's all Elizabeth wants. And as long mm -hmm. as Mr. Files is doing that, you can't take that from her. I am going to order you into mediation to work out a parenting plan for Rebecca. The, this court, based upon the paternity test, declares that Mr. Files is the natural father, and he therefore has rights as the natural father, and, and I know that if I leave it up to you to decide, you will not allow him to see the child. So I'm going to order you into mediation for purposes of working out a parenting plan for Rebecca's sake. In terms of the photo albums, what I'm going to do is to order that the photo albums be given to the possession of Mr. Files. And Mr. Files is ordered to make a copy of every picture in this larger photo album, every picture, and give it back to Mrs. Files. Ms. Files, I'm giving it to him because you're so angry over the whole situation. I don't believe that you would do it. Regarding the dress, I'm going to award the dress to Mrs. Files. Mrs. Files, the bailiff will see to it that you get the dress. If you don't want it, sell it, give it away to Goodwill, do something wonderful. Mr. Files, I think you owe Mrs. Files an apology for the deceit, perhaps. And you can start there to heal this relationship for the benefit of your children. That's the order of the court. All rise. When Divorce Court returns, an update on the case of Elizabeth Scott versus Charles Scott. The only time you could have sex with me is when I was sleeping because I wouldn't touch you otherwise, you filthy thing. Closed captioning for Divorce Court, provided by. If you would like to have the judge hear your case in Divorce Court, call us toll-free at 1-877-311-2222 or email us at www.divorcecourttv.com. And now for an update on a previous case in Divorce Court. Elizabeth Scott's marriage to Charles lasted only one and a half years before she brought him to Divorce Court. Besides wanting an end to the marriage, because she said he was sexually and emotionally abusive... He wanted me to do awful sexual things that no woman should have to do. She also wanted Charles to repay her for the charges he ran up on her credit card bill for telephone and cyber sex. How much money did you invest in phone about sex, cyber sex, etc.? I said close to $4,000. $4,000 yeah. yes. in phone bills for sex? Yeah. In her ruling, the judge explained to Elizabeth that marital law meant that the debt was hers as well as Charles. And since he had given her a car, he had met his legal obligation to repaying the money. You have been adequately compensated, and there has been fairness when he gave you the vehicle, 
and that you have to assume the debt. Elizabeth was disappointed but said she understood the ruling. Since then, she has tried to look to the future with her new fiancé, whom she says treats her like a queen. And she plans to take Charles back to court soon to force him to pay child support. No, I will never, ever, ever get there again. It's the worst mistake I could ever make. It's not a matter of our relationship, it's a matter of the kid. And I love my daughter. 